High inflation continues to be a burden for many of us. One group getting hit particularly hard is our seniors. Many of them are over the age of 65 and retired, so they're struggling with the day to day cost of living. News West 9's Christina Burgess talked to a local senior about the struggles that she's facing. Yeah, Alex, it's a problem millions of seniors are dealing with. I sat down with one Midland woman who has been struggling with covering her basic necessities like food, gas, and medication, all due to high inflation. Good morning. Aquila Watson has been living here in Midland since the late 60s. For years, she worked as a caregiver, but now she's retired and is trying to enjoy her retirement, but she can't because she's facing an ongoing battle due to high inflation. And I'm finding now uh, that with the cost of inflation, everything going up, it's just kind of hard for me to balance out based on my income. At her age of 78, she's even considered going back to work to make ends meet. In May, I will be 79, which makes it harder for me to go out and try to get back into the workforce. For Watson, her sole income is coming from her Social Security, which is also the case for about 68 million seniors under the age of 65, a big group of Americans that she says is being ignored in this serious time. I feel like we were forgotten and looked over. If we didn't have the um, annuities and things, we worked on jobs that did not provide that kind of security for us, we are looked over. Inflation has not only taken a financial toll on Watson, but also a mental one. If I were not a believer in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, I would go into a state of depression because it is more than a person can handle when you're alone and on your own and you are limited with a source of income as to what you can provide for yourself. With the continued price hikes, she's learned to adapt to the best of her abilities. We are placed in a predicament that we will just have to manage and accept. Over 60 million seniors are on fixed incomes, and with the U.S. seeing the highest inflation in 40 years, this may continue to be an ongoing issue for seniors. Alex.